Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Click PLC High Speed Counter Input Pulse Catch Mode. And the detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So up on my screen you'll see my uh, Dart Magnetic Pickup and it's actually uh, designed to actually uh, go into the back end of a motor to tell speed and this is my wiring diagrams to my click PLC you'll see that my commons of my PLC C1 is connected to the plus 24 volt DC X1 is is actually connected to the output of the dart uh, magnetic pickup then we have our power which is connected to the plus voltage and the zero volts is connected to the zero volts on the 24 volt power supply that we have all right so that's my wiring diagram now if we look at the actual uh, click software package this has to be uh, version 2.30 or higher in order to work with our uh, ethernet um, high speed uh, input so if we call up our our high speed input here or we can look at our function and you can see our high speed uh, IO right here that, that we can do and you see that we already have our pulse catch uh, programmed in so if we click it or double click it you will see our pulse catch and what it actually will do so here's my input signal etc so let's just hit cancel there you can actually get to it also by hitting up this high speed uh, input here so we can also go to the um, through the menus on top here and you can see the under the setup we have our high speed input and again it gets me right back to my um, high speed input configuration and again we have our pulse catch programmed and it's located right here so what you'll see is my pulse catch what it will do is it will look at the input signal and if I have an input signal, it will actually say, okay, now turn on the status of X uh, or whatever that input is for one scan of the PLC. So I can use this in my regular ladder logic. So if we edit this, here is the uh, timing diagram right here. So we can see the minimum width signal that we can have is a three microseconds. So it's quite quick. So we're going to use X1, we're going to call this Pulse Catch, and that's about it. You can see actually you can use all eight of our inputs on this uh, PLC. So it's OK, and we'll hit OK. And what we do is on our ladder, because this is the normal scan, this is just my um, main program, and my, under my Pulse Catch, it's just going to add one to DD1 and start at DD1. So that is my actual program. So looking at the hardware, again here is my Dart pickup, located right here, and it's wired into my PLC um, X, X1, which is the white wire, which is my signal wire. Then we have our blue wire connected to X1, or common one, which is set for the 24 volt DC supply. We also have my red wire on the 24 volt DC. Our zero volt DC is connected to the black wire. So that's my uh, wiring diagram for this magnetic pickup. So if we call up our, first of all, we'll download the software that we just uh, created here. Hit OK. And we'll proceed to our runtime. So our PLC is running at the same time. There we go. So everything is downloaded now. And we can look at our data view. Under my data view, what you'll see is that it will actually show you what the current status of, of the DD1. So as I turn and you can see my pulses, you can also see my current value. So you can see how quickly um, that pulse catch and it will pick up one pulse every scan. So it allows you to pick up extremely uh, fast inputs into your controller and slow it down so the scan can actually see that input. So if you enjoy this video, 
please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want to get our two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get the videos more like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.